The most important thing to any animal, including ourselves, is to survive. For an animal, survival depends upon how well it can adjust to its environment, the world around it. Animals like this South American weasel collect information about the environment with their senses. Survival can depend upon an animal's response to this information. Some insects can taste with their feet. This helps them to find food. Fish, on the other hand, have highly sensitive taste buds in their skin. The sensitive skin around the mouth of this sea anemone tells it if food is safe to eat. Many mammals, like this coyote pup, depend upon their sense of smell to find food or to sense danger. Reptiles and amphibians have an exceptional sense of smell. The emerald boa has poor vision, but its sense of smell helps it to detect food. A snake which hunts at night must depend upon its sense of smell in order to survive. Some fish die of hunger in polluted water because their sense of smell has been damaged, preventing them from finding food. Survival can also depend upon hearing. These zebras rely on their keen ears to detect danger. Bats can pick up sounds that we can't hear. And some moths can hear the high-pitched sounds of bats and thus avoid being eaten. Sight, too, can be essential for survival, whether it's used to find food or to avoid being found. The sense of touch helps this sea anemone distinguish between food and non-food. And touch helps this spider distinguish between the vibrations caused by a struggling victim, a fallen leaf, or another spider seeking a mate. The sense of touch is very important to the larger animals as well, for it helps to maintain the close relationships between the members of the group which are essential to survival. Special adaptations also help animals to survive. The giraffe's long neck helps it reach leaves high up in trees. And many birds have developed waterproof feathers, so they can fly even when they're wet. An adaptation is an activity or a body part that helps an animal to survive. Birds have developed many different types of bills, each adapted for a different style of feeding. Some adaptations serve as protection. Camouflage helps this snowshoe hair to blend into its surroundings. The decorator crab is a true camouflage artist. And its spots make the ocelot difficult to see. Mimicry is the adaptation of one animal to look like another. The poisonous coral snake is mimicked by the non-poisonous king snake as a way of discouraging a hungry predator.
Many animals find it hard to survive harsh winters. Animals that eat plants may have great difficulty finding food. Some can starve or even freeze to death. As an adaptation for survival, a few animals, like this ground squirrel, spend winter in a long, deep sleep called hibernation. To avoid the cold, northern rattlesnakes also hibernate. Other animals, like the whales, travel great distances to avoid the shortage of food in winter. This adaptation is called migration. In some parts of the world, the dry season drives animals, like these African wildebeest, to cross hundreds of miles in search of water. Many animals benefit by living together in large groups. In this way, they are able to share their survival skills. The zebra's sharp eyes can spot distant danger, but the gazelle picks up smell faster. The ability of one benefits the other. The cattle egret and the capybara, which is a kind of rodent, also benefit each other. The cattle egret finds a meal by picking bugs from the fur of the capybara, and the capybara is freed of a pest. For the energy to grow and to survive, all living things need food. Green plants make their own food using sunlight, water, and air. They're called producers. All animals are considered consumers because they must first find existing food in order to consume it. A herbivore, like these caterpillars, is an animal that eats only plants. Elephants are also herbivores. An animal that eats only meat is called a carnivore. An animal that eats plants as well as other animals is called an omnivore. Most of us are omnivores. Scavengers, like these vultures, feed on dead animals they find. But a predator, like the leopard, hunts and kills the animals it eats. The leopard's prey might be a gazelle. Most predators must catch their prey by surprise. We too are predators. To ensure the survival of their species, all animals must reproduce. In this way, young animals replace those who die. Reproduction is usually sexual, involving a male and female parent. Here, a female abalone ejects thousands of eggs, while the male abalone releases clouds of sperm. For the sake of the species, at least some eggs and sperm must join and survive to repeat the process. Most animals, like lions, choose many mates each breeding season. 
having more than one partner improves their chances of reproducing. Mutual grooming is a ritual that strengthens the bond between albatrosses. Before mating, albatross pairs perform elaborate courtship displays. After mating comes nesting. Whether it's digging a hole or building a nest, preparation is necessary. By nesting in a large group, the members of this albatross colony gain the benefit of safety in numbers. Smaller animals, like frogs, tend to produce offspring that don't need much care. The more there are, the better the chance that some will survive. Larger animals, on the other hand, tend to have fewer young, for the young require considerable care. They need more food more training, more protection. Survival can also depend upon communication. To attract a mate, cranes use their voice and body language, while the honeybee performs what is called a waggle dance, which tells the others where to find food. The howler monkey loudly lays claim to its territory. And with its howls, the coyote stakes out its place to survive. Now, to review. Survival is the most important thing to any animal. Information supplied by its senses helps an animal to survive. An adaptation is an activity or body part that helps an animal to survive. Camouflage helps an animal to avoid being noticed. Mimicry is the adaptation of looking like another animal. Hibernation is a deep sleep through the colder months. Migration is a seasonal movement or journey. Safety in numbers is an advantage of living in a group. And some animals have a relationship which benefits them both. Plants are producers. They make their own food. All animals are consumers. They must find food. Herbivores eat only plants. Carnivores eat only other animals. Omnivores eat anything. Scavengers eat dead animals that they find. Predators eat animals they hunt and kill. Reproduction is vital to the survival of a species. And communication can also help an individual or a group to survive. In ways like these, animals seek to achieve the most basic of all their needs, survival.